What up, 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 what's really good? Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Uncasa. You tuning in to another episode of Uncasa True Hip Hop Stories, um, episode 14. Um, thank you to all the subscribers that sent my subscribers from 160 subscribers to 5,098 subscribers. Thank y'all for subscribing, liking, sharing, conversating. And um, just showing me love. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to uh, Mikey Like His Ice Cream for the uh, long sleeve tea collaboration he did with B Wood. So shout out to them both. Um, before we get into tonight's episode, um, I want to um, address something. I know um, this week y'all been probably seeing, you know, people trying to discredit what I'm doing or add their two cents. I'm not for the negativity. It's nothing but positivity on this platform. I want to shout out the Jordan Tower, but I also want to tell Jordan, don't do that, Jordan. Don't take my content or something I do out of context to promote and use a caption to promote bullshit. Don't do that, my brother. Me and I have respect and a lot of love for you, Jordan. Do not do that. What you're doing is very disgusting because you're using what I'm using for my content to promote that. Stop doing that, man. That's that's what's so disgusting about y'all uh, YouTube guys. Y'all watch other people's content and then be trying to finagle y'all way into it. Don't jump in my storyline. Don't jump into my lane. I don't jump into y'all. don't talk about nothing that y'all ever talked about. So please, out of the um respect for me, Please leave me in my lane alone and don't be trying to add on negativity to something very positive. Back to regularly scheduled programmer. Now, um, it's not a uh, DJ that I know that support the diplomats and what the diplomats represent more than Funk Flex. Um, Tonight episode is called Loyalty for the Dips. Now, um, I'm coming from sh clothing shopping one day, and I'm in a cab. And when I'm in a cab, I usually tell them to turn the high 97 on 105. It don't matter to me. But today, that day, I told them to turn the hot 97 just so happened the time i told him to turn the hot 97 flex was on the radio and flex was like i got a surprise for y'all i know y'all y'all I, I love these guys so i know y'all love them but i, I want to just see this happen and he was talking about a diplomat reunion and he was saying he was going to have all four members of the diplomats on his show they was going to come do a freestyle and he was going to uh, drop a new diplomat song and he was going to put the tour together. So when I hear this, I damn near rolled up and lit up in the cab, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I was so happy. I was like, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. All right, cool. So I get to the hood. The first thing I do is call Killer. I said, yo, what up, Killer? Yo, that's what's up. Um, congrats on getting getting the dips back together, man. This is that you know I want to see this. He was like, yo, un, what's up? Where you at, baby bro? I'm like, yo, I'm in Harlem. He's like, yo, meet me on 55th. I'm coming to get you. So I'll take a cab to 155th and uh 8th Avenue by the Rucker. Ken picks me up in his truck. He just got his truck. He is like, I ain't gonna lie. I get in the truck. He said, I ain't gonna lie. I love Flex to death, but I don't know what the fuck Flex talking about right now. I said, why? He just promoted. He got Y'all got a record. Y'all coming up to freestyle, the concert, all this. He was like, yeah, I spoke to Flex. But I haven't spoken to L's or Jim. I'm not really fucking with Jim right now. I'm not really fucking with L's right now. I'm not doing no diplomat shit right now. But whatever move Flex put into play out of respect of Flex, I'm going to play the move. And if it pans out a good in a good way, I'm going to do it. You know how I am. So I'm going to be in Killer chopping it up. So we go to Cam um, in-house studio to in his crib. So we chilling. 
And I'm like, so um, let me hear the song that y'all got uh for the um that Flex gonna play. It's like, yo, uh, it ain't no record. I'm like, it ain't no record. So, what Flex talking about? He said, this is all Flex is playing. So I'm thinking like, yo, damn. Shout out to Flex. Flex really love niggas, B. None of these niggas spoke. Jim, Cam, Jewels, nobody spoke to each other. Flex just individually called everybody. He called Zeke, he called Jewels, he called Cam. He individually called everybody. So I'm like, wow. So I said, have you spoken to L's yet? He said, nah. They just been sending records back and forth. I said, have you spoken to Jim? I, he said, briefly. But we've been sending back and back records back and forth. So automatically, I called Jewels. I said, yo, Jewels, what's going on? He said, yo, I spoke to Flex, but I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't know. I don't really know what he's talking about. I don't, I don't know what's up with Killer. I don't know what's up with Jones. I don't. I, I, I heard the same thing you heard. So I'm like, where? So I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm at Cam Craig. I'm like, yo, don't y'all gotta go? It's the in in the tomorrow is the date. The date they gotta go to flex. So I'm like, yo, we hours away. Y'all ain't got no record check. So I'm like, yo, damn, Flex don't know what he got himself into right now. Damn. Damn. I'm just like, damn. All right. So they sending records back and forth for a night. With whatever Cam sent the Jewels and Jim, I don't know if they was feel. I don't think they was feeling it. Whatever they was sending back to Cam, I don't think he was feeling it. So they was doing this ping pong all night with records. They couldn't decide on a record. So now, I'm there for at least 10 hours now. I get there probably like 8 o'clock. It's probably going to 4 in the morning. So I'm like, so I'm like, yo, killer, what's up? He said, yo, bro, I give up, man. You got any ideas? I don't know what to do. So I said, hold on, I got you, big bro. I walk out to Cam's movie theater in his room. He got like a little, uh, in his crib, he got like a, a, a area where you watch movies with the plaques and everything out. Shout out to Killer. So I went out there, sat on the, the couch, took out my phone, and I called my other big homie, Vinny Idol. I was playing, he picked up this phone. Cause it was kind of late. I never called him that late, ever in my life. First ring I call, he picks up. What up, twin? I'm like, yo, what up, big bro? What you doing right now? He said, I ain't doing nothing in the lab working. So I said, yo, yo, you want to make history? You want to do like the first diplomat record in 10 years? He's like, hell yeah. I was like, I'm at Cam studio right now. Send me some shit to play for these niggas. These niggas... Don't got no record to play for Flex, to, uh, to play at Flex tomorrow. So he said, yo, what Flex talking about? I said, yo, Flex just love these niggas so much that he's trying to put this shit together. And I, I'm not going to I'm not gonna let this shit go down like this. I'm going to make sure these niggas got a record. So he's like, that's some real shit, twin. Yo, I got you right now. Check your email in 10 minutes. So I hang up, I go back in the room um, with Cam in the studio room, and I'm like, yo, Vinny, I you about to send some shit? Cam on really a Cthulhu, he's like, all right, we'll see. My phone rang off, bing, say Vinny Idol beats for the dips. Mm. I open my email on the computer, tell Rec, yo, go to my email, punch in my password, go to the beats, play the first track for Killer. Now, mind you, the beats that he sent for the dips was the beats I was going to use on Vanilla Sky 3. So he sent the beats. I'm familiar with the beats. I heard one of them before. I ain't hear the second one because he told me he was working on it. The first one had the DOS effects. We want effects sample. Cam was going crazy. He loved it. He said, yo, that might be the one right there. 
then he said, play the second beat just in case. So I played the second beat. And it was the bitch bet I had my money. That's Vinny Adu singing that if y'all ain't know that. It's the Ed OGs and the Bulldog. I gotta have it on um, uh sample, I believe. So I played it. That nigga Cam scrunched up his fucking face like he smelled shit and feet at the same time. He ran right in the booth. He's like rap, loop that shit up. Cam did his verse in five minutes. We sitting there, mixing the verse, you know, a little rough mix. By that time, it was almost like 6, 6.53, almost 7 a.m. I'm like, I'm going to send this to Capo. Sent it to Capo. Capo heard the wreck. I, I said, yo, I called Capo. He picked up, yo, what up? I'm like, yo, it's on you. He said, oh, what up, little bro? I said, yo, I just sent you a record. He's like, all right, cool. Five to ten minutes later, Jim called me back. I'm on my way over here. That shit fire. Who did that shit? I'm like, Vinny Idol. He was like, Psh, you got that beat? I was like, yeah, man. It was one of my, bad, man. Listen, this I love, I love the fam. I, I want to see this happen. He said, I'm on my way to come do it. I don't know if Jim... Ran, drove, took an Uber or Jack, but he got there in like 15 minutes tops. Got there. As soon as he got there, smoke, yo, unroll up. Threw me some weed, a Dutch, and I rolled up. We smoked. If y'all if y'all if y'all never witnessed Jim Jones recording music, Jim closed his eyes and he just he just mumbled it. It's almost like he I thought he was asleep. And he woke up like I got it. Ran right in the booth. Did his verse right there. 15 minutes later, now we got Cam and Jim verse. And this is probably the first time in a long time Jim and Cam been in the same room together. Right? Now, they like, yo, send a wreck at the hub. That's what we call Jewels. Yo, send a wreck. Wreck at the hub. We send the wreck at the jewels. I was like, yo, that shit hard. Who did the beat? I was like, Vinny Yato. It's like, oh shit, the nigga that did the beat song for Noah Scott. I was like, yeah, D Block the dude. He was like, yeah, that shit hard. I said, yo, everybody over here, come over here. He was like, yo, all right, I'm on my way. It went from 8 30 in the morning to 9 30 in the morning to 10.30 in the morning, to 11.30 in the morning, to 12.30 in the morning, to 2 in the afternoon, to 2.30 in the afternoon, to 3 o'clock, to 3.30, to 3.45, 3.50. Hours is going past. L still ain't show up. So he, L killer looked at me and said, look, see, it's on, it's on your man now. It's on your man, all right? What you going to do? So I'm like, 5.30, 6 o'clock come around. They got to be at Flex by 7.30. I calls you else like, yo, uh, like, yo, else, yo, you f come on, man. You fucking shit up, bro. Come on. You going to do the verse or not? I've been over here for almost two days waiting on you, bro. What you going to do? He sighed. Took a deep breath. Tell he was smoking. He was like, yo, I'm on my way. Els did his verse for a bitch better have my money. 45 minutes before they had to go to Flex. He had just came at 6 o'clock. Went in the booth. Everybody did their verse like this, too. They took a couple of minutes, smoked their blunts. Everybody had their verse killer. First time he heard it, he was in the booth. Beat wasn't even looped up yet. He already jumped in the booth. So now, Jewel's come. He 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 record his verse. Everybody listening to it. Jewel's 
sits right in between on this little ass couch. It's only a couch big enough for two people, really one. It's a little love seat. Joel sits right in between a gym and Cam. I take out my phone and take the picture. Pow. So that picture that was went viral of them sitting together, three, I took that picture. No photographer. I took that picture with my iPhone. I still have the picture. I will post it up later on my gram. I took that picture with my iPhone. The first picture with three members of the dips together in years. So, everybody listen to this song, chopped it up. L said he's going to get dressed. Jim said he's going to get dressed. Kayla said I'm going upstairs to take a shower. Only person left in the studio is me and Rec. Shout out to Rec. We at the, uh, we at the, uh, studio mixing the record, putting the record together. Because everybody's on their way to the, they rushing too. Everybody's on their way to flex. So me and Red, we the only ones at the studio left. So me and Rec, we turn on the radio. We heard everybody get in the building. Flex like, yeah, I got everybody. Freaky Ziggy, Joel, Santana, Cam, Flunkin'. You know Flex, yeah! New York, you're not ready for this! You're not ready for this! I got all four members of the Diplomats! I got a record that's so mean and vicious! I got a record so mean and vicious! New York! When I tell you this is going to be no small cars, all them little bum ass cars y'all riding with, don't pull up playing this shit. You got to have a big truck series, the new range, new drop, Wraith, a dog, something of that stature. If you want some little Civic or something, pull that shit over. Mind you, Flex ain't here fucking record check. This is how good, this is how much Flex love. This is how much uh, uh, love Flex got for niggas. This is like how much that he knew that, you know what I'm saying? Nothing could go wrong. He didn't even know what was going on. He didn't even know it was a record. So they do the interview. They do the freestyle. Now it's time for them to play the record. The record ain't done mix yet. Me and, me, and, me, and, me and Rec making sure the record sounds perfect. So, I think Cam called and was like, yo, what's up with the record? Flex goes, we kind of got, we, we kind of got Flex nervous right now. So, it's like, yo, we sending the, we sending the uh, record right now to Flex email. Now, we send the record to Flex. The first time Flex hearing it is the first time the world's hearing it. The first time the world's hearing it, the first time Flex hearing it. So now we got the motherfucking record. Flex dropped so many bombs on that shit. Me and Rec, we was just in the studio going crazy. Like, yeah, he was like, Rec was like, yeah, uh, you did that, bro. You did that. Word. That's fire, my nigga. You save Flex. I was like, he don't even know what I did. So, they played the record. Round, like I said, did they freestyle interview. We chilled there for the hour. Me and Rec was just chilling, smoking. Came, come to the crib. Some bottles of rosé and just gave me a hug. Was like, yo, I appreciate you, huh? For real, you did that. You did that, because... When Flex had pronounced all that shit, they didn't, Jewel's can, they didn't even speak to each other. They wasn't even on good terms like that. They was just cordial. But I loved them so much and Flex loved them so much that I wasn't going to let that shit go down. I wasn't going to let Flex look like a fool. And I definitely wasn't going to make them look like fools by not communicating. I had to be patient and I had to put it together. That's what a boss do. I always want to show the dips that I was a boss and I can make things happen. And I and I, I knew in that 
that instance right there, Cam respected me on a whole different level. Because out of everybody, he the one that said thank you. Cam, shout out to Killer. I appreciate you. And you know, last time I seen Killer really was at uh, Joel's wedding. And he first thing um, Cam told me was like, yo, because there was problems with me putting out the outro video for the new Diplomat Ties album. Shout out to Jim for putting me on that album. Um, he um, said, yo, put out your video because you, 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 you fuck with the dips. You go hard for us when it ain't nothing going on. So you already know you got my blessing. So from, from that day on, my love for Cam is never going to change. It's, it's always going to be to utmost respect. That's always going to be, bro. I'm always going to be in debt to you for even putting me in the game on the Diplomat album when you didn't have to. So um, I appreciate that. Flex, you owe me one. If you see this flex, call me and we. I need to do the uh, a episode where we got a story to tell because I got stories to tell and good ones. Like I said, don't I don't care about anybody trying to discredit what I'm doing. I'm doing this for for the youth and on a positive note and let people know the things that y'all love and the ins and outs. This is no different from behind the music and nothing. I'm just doing it my my way. I'm doing it the, to my ability and how I know how to do it. And like I said, if I ruffle the little fellas. Um, with a couple of my episodes or some of my content, I apologize. It's not intent to ruffle no feathers. This is just educational and informative information that I'm giving out to the people that support us and keep our fucking lights on when they support us. So, like I said, shout out to the whole Diplomat, Wells, Cam, Zeke, everybody. Um, Flex, you owe me one because uh, I had to go through hell getting Wells to that studio, man. I waited there for two days, Flex. I was there for two days. I was there from the time I got there until the time you got the record. And I ain't even leave after that. I might. I think I left the next day after that. So I was at Cam House for three days just to make sure that f for Flex putting his, his, his name on the line and his credibility on the line to make something a, a legacy that I'm a part to keep going on, I had to step up. And um, until next time, roll something, smoke something, like something, share something. It's your boy, Uncasa. And this is episode 14 of Uncasa True Hip Hop Stories. My life is real, and I will tell it the way I see it. I have no space for negativity. I'm a father now. Nothing but positive vibes from me. Nothing but positive vibes. I'm getting to the bag. I will single-handedly weigh out and, and, and flood out all the negative stuff on the internet. I'm going to bring y'all pure content. And I'm going to let y'all YouTubers know y'all can't fuck with me. Y'all ain't lived the life I lived. You can't fuck with me. I'm one of the best MCs ever touched this fucking mic, nigga. If not the best, I put in my fucking work and I put in my stripes and I deserve, I, 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 I have the authority to talk on the level I'm talking right now. All you YouTube niggas that keep remixing all these stories about all these old rats and shit, wrap it up. I'm cleaning this shit up. I'm cleaning this shit the fuck up. You get me? I'm feeling myself this episode. I'm cleaning this shit up. So be very scared, all y'all niggas just keep glorifying this rat, all this whack content for the kids. We know about all that stuff. Teach them some new shit. Something that's relevant to the culture of hip-hop and fashion. So next time I'm out, roll some, smoke some, share some, like some, hit the subscribe button. Thank you to all my viewers and supporters. I'm going to keep bringing y'all that heat. So next time I'm out. Dipset, bitch.